Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. What brings you to Summit 2017? Well, actually, we are uh, presenting our new technology in uh, our booth, in uh, Mazdar Institute's booth, and it's about uh, uh, 3D printing of new architected materials. What is the purpose of that 3D printing project? Well, actually, we are trying to build uh, a platform technology for uh, the use of 3D printing or to integrate 3D printing in several um, uh, engineering disciplines, if you wish, and to try to enhance the efficiency of the existing technologies and create other technologies with that. So, what would the application of this technology be? In fact, at the moment, we are exploring uh, uh, most interesting uh, applications of lightweight structures for um, aerospace engineering. Uh, we are also looking into uh, water desalination applications, uh, not to mention tissue engineering and uh, so many other uh, technologies. For the layperson, how does this 3D printing differ to what people could do perhaps at home? Well, uh, to put it in, in simple words, uh, all the other technologies are destructive in the sense that you have a junk of material and then you try to shape it into the form of the product you want. In 3D printing, we basically uh, fabricate things, doing it layer by layer. So we actually add material. This is why they call it additive manufacturing instead of destructive manufacturing. In this way, you save in material and you also get uh, the complex architectures that you want or the complex shapes that you are looking into. So this is how it, different from, how it is different from other uh, fabrication techniques. How advanced is that technology? At the moment, it's, it's being, uh, you know, it's progressively enhancing. We have uh, the ability to 3D print steels, metals in general, plastics, and the scale is, is going bigger because the limitations before were in the scalability of the product. Now printers are able to do uh, I mean, big scale prints, which is uh, the, the progress at the moment. Also nanoscale and micro scale uh, 3D printing, which is also the down uh, extreme of, of this technology. Obviously, the, the reduction in materials required to, to build a, a thing, a widget, is, is, is reduced. But what other efficiencies are there? In fact, that's, that's uh, regarding the process itself, the 3D, pro 3D, uh, uh, 3D printing itself. But when you come to the application, it's also reducing the weight of the structure. It's reducing the, um, the environmental impact through the increase in the efficiency of the, the products. And that comes with the, what, what we actually are doing in the lab, which is relating the architecture or the, the topology of the material to the physical properties of that material. In that sense, you need less material to use in the house or in the technology itself, and you also increase this uh, efficiency. What do you think the time scale for commercialization is, is likely to be? At the moment, there are in some uh, disciplines, it's already commercial. Uh, for, uh, for example, in tissue engineering, uh, it is already being commercialized in all medicine. Uh, so in, 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 in tooth implants, in, in, in body implants, uh, all these technologies have been already commercialized. But in some other technologies, like in water treatment, it's very mature yet. It's, it hasn't been there in the market yet, but let's say, Every technology needs about 20 years time scale. Maybe now it's being faster, but we don't know. But that's, that's the... So what next? Next. Uh, next is to explore more and more. As, as I told you, uh, we, are, we are creating a platform technology. So we are trying to put 3D print mark or, or uh, the print of 3D printers into several other disciplines. Not only what I mentioned uh, at the moment, but to expand more and try to figure out how we can increase uh, or, or, or expand in that, in that sense. Well, we'll follow you with great interest. Okay, thank you very much. Thank great, you. thank you for joining thank us. You.